notice anything different? <laughs> I'm I'm shaking my hand now. I uh, I don't I don't rewatch my video. I don't watch my videos after they're published on YouTube. When I hear my own voice, it makes me want to gag. <laughs> like I get I just it makes me sick to hear my own voice. I hate my own voice. So I don't know. I don't know. How do I have an audience? I don't know. Um, so anyway, the shaking's new because when I go back to edit my videos, I notice my intros. It's just this. And I felt like I'd give it a little jazz with the hand. Anyway, um, for those of you who are new here, my name is Riley. I'm a full-time reseller. You may have heard of me as Honey Rags. I resell anything and everything on eBay. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I should not be starting this um, laughing so much. I'm just thinking about the things I thought of before the video. I resell clothing for a living, basically, but I really do sell anything and everything, including Amazon palettes sometimes. So two things about this video, if you're a regular viewer, that are going to be a little bit different. You guys are going to get fun, Riley, tonight, because I poured myself a little glass of um, an alcoholic substance. It's actually just wine with a little bit of, um, I don't even know what it is, like some pina colada. I, it's a horrible combination, but I'm not a drinker. A little bit of like pina colada mix. And I figured I'd make it look a little classier by adding these little gummy worms on the side, which actually just make it look way more trashy. So you guys are going to get fun, Riley, today. Um, my three-year-old son is also going to join us. Obviously, I'm going to say right now, I'm having one glass of wine. I'm, I'm completely capable of having a glass of wine and caring for my son. Um, so if you guys don't like kids and if you guys do not like... Um, where people are maybe drinking every once in a while in the background of the video. This is not the video for you. <laughs> Watch that be like 40% of my audience. <laughs> and I'm not... Okay, hold on. I probably just turned away like 40% of my audience. Okay. Um, another thing, not doing a big intro. Obviously, I talk too much. You guys know this about me. This is my fourth my fourth haul video consecutively in a row on this channel. I do not like to do haul video after haul video because I feel like I want, I honestly, and I'm not just saying this, I want to provide you guys with better content than just like repetitive haul videos. But at the same time, like that's what a lot of you guys like and that's what I like watching anyway too. So I don't know. It's my fourth one in a row. Why is that? For one, I felt like I just keep having really noteworthy items that I feel like I have to show you guys before I actually process and list them. Um, Two, I've been sourcing a lot more lately. I, my stress levels, are, they say like don't mix your emotions with your sourcing, but I'm like the exact opposite. Like I'll be like stressed out at the end of the day and I'm like, oh, I got to take a load off. Just I just need to go to Goodwill. So if I do a fifth consecutive haul video after this, um, I, I need you guys to reach out and try to get me help because that means I haven't quit. Um, I have a lot of stuff to process still. So I'm going to cut right to the chase. I only have two bottoms to show you guys today, and we're going to start off right off the bat with me just mutilating a brand name that I should know. Um, I always tell you guys, like, I have really extensive brand knowledge, but then when I actually have to pronounce, like, normal brand, I completely, I just, I mutilate it. Um, Car Cartonier. Car I'm going to say Cartonier because I just have a feeling the R is going to be silent. If I don't know how to pronounce something and it has an R at the end, I just try to make it silent so that I sound like I know more than what I do. Um, yeah, there's the label for you guys. So this is a higher end brand, although I do not know the comps. I, I've heard of the brand before, so I stuck it in the cart without knowing the comps. I actually just brought this piece home today, and I unbagged it like 30 minutes ago. Um, so I haven't, yeah, I haven't done like really any research at all on some of these pieces. This is a pair of Pilcrow in the letterpress pants. I've only ever found their regular jeans and corduroys, so these are more of a, I mean, they're khakis, but they're distressed khakis, so I feel like they're a more unique style. I'm going to list them around $27 or $28. Ooh, I'm out of breath and I've gone through two things. This is my favorite, favorite thing out of this entire haul, and it actually already made its debut over on Instagram. Um, it is a Paradise Hawaii vintage 1960s dress. Um, but this gives me, like, the pattern gives me Mary Meckle vibes, right? I mean, absolutely. Um, how did I date this one? I just looked at the stitching on the inside. And it was kind of helpful because when I looked at this brand and typed in vintage on eBay, it seems like a lot of it's from the 60s and 70s anyway. But this one's definitely like a 60s piece just because of the stitching. Um, the comps were all over the place, but I think I'm going to list mine for 75 because of the pattern. And honestly, it is kind of a sought after brand. It seems like this is a Patagonia base layer. Oh, this is a Capline. 
Okay, this is a Patagonia Capilene, which sell for a little bit more than their regular base layers. I think it has like a wool blend or something. Um, their Capilene sell between $20 and $25 for me, where their base labor base labels sell for around $18. So this one I'll probably list around $24 because it's in really nice condition and I like that color. This is a Bowden dress with just a simple pattern. I love picking up anything Bowden that has a pattern because Bowden is kind of known for their patterns, kind of like Lily Pulitzer, but I guess their patterns are toned down. Um, I don't have a problem selling Bowden, so a lot of people will sit on it. I've sat on it for a while, but not too long. I think I'll be able to move that one around $25 rather quickly. This is a Free People, and it has a little charm, the charm label. I Okay, this is the only charm label I'm going to show you guys for free people because I don't want to just repeatedly show you guys the labels, but I know some of you have a visual memory just like I do, so I like to show you guys a label. Um, it's a, a, what is, a tube dress. It's like a tube dress, and it's embroidered all the way through. So I, I want to look up the style if I can, but I think regardless of the style, that one's probably going to list, I'm probably going to list that one around just like $25. This is an older label, Eileen Fisher top, but this one is 100% silk. Um, obviously, it's just a staple classic silk top, so I mean, the garment is not dated like the label is, so I don't think I'll have a problem moving it around $25. This is a, I want to say like early 2000s, but not too early, like maybe like 2007, um, Sleeping Beauty Aurora Disney Parks shirt, so it took me forever to get out. Um, it's a Disney World top, which means you probably had to buy it in Disney World. Um, I don't always, I find so much Disney Park stuff. I mean, I've, obviously, if you go to Disney World or Disneyland, you're probably going to come back with a few overpriced souvenirs, let's be honest. Um, so I find it a lot, but I don't always pick it up. But that one gives me, like, really kitschy, oh, kitschy, like, baby doll kawaii vibes, if that makes sense. This is a Piranha cardigan if you guys can't find the prana tag they always have this at the back of the neck for their tops this little prana logo um i think i've sold this exact same one before in a different color around probably probably like 24 dollars. this is a 100 percent cashmere duffy this is a label for duffy duffy um cashmere top I would have picked this up if it weren't cashmere because it's Duffy, which is a good brand to pick up. I don't know much about the brand at all, um, but the fact that it's Duffy and it's cashmere, I don't think I'm going to have a hard time moving this one. Probably around 30, maybe even like 40 bucks. We'll see. These are all, keep in mind guys, this is a bigger haul, so these are all going to be really rough estimates. I could change, but just know if I give it a price, it's probably nine times out of 10, my estimation is only going to be like a couple of dollars off from what it actually sells for. This is a Maeve dress. I told you guys, I think, in my last haul that I, I always find Maeve dresses. And I, I just, I don't sell them as much as I find them, but I can't stop picking them up. Oh, right, label. I'm supposed to be giving you guys the visuals here. I was holding it backwards the entire time anyway. Oh, this has a zip front? That's different. That's kind of cute. I, I don't know if I love it or hate it, though. This is the Maeve label. It's hard to miss. It's pretty chunky. Um, I do sell the brand. I just find more of it than what I sell, which is not a good business model, but I have no self-control. I'm probably going to list this one around 25. These ones this are really cool. So this is, I found two vintage single stitch. That's important in the listing. Single stitch, 90s graphic top. So this one is explosive, which I believe this is the band. And the album is La Mafia. Um, so explosive, La Mafia. Um, I d could not find any of their shirts. I could only find their mixtapes on eBay, which makes me think I can get like $60 out of this. We'll see. This one is Viva La Raza limited edition, which, um, hmm, Viva La Raza. I don't know. Is that a band? I, I have to do more research into this, but I know it is a saying, so I don't know if it's just a saying or a band. I don't know what's going on here, but it has this cool, it has like the Mexican flag colors and then it has, what is this? Like a snack, a snack. And it has this bald eagle. Just really interesting. I said, I'm not going to go into detail with each piece. <laughs> and we're like seven minutes into the video. And I'm like explaining to you guys like what you're seeing with your own eyes. This is green. This is white. And this is red. <laughs> I need to stop. I told you guys you're going to get Fun Riley today. Okay. I've just, I've been stressed out. So I'm like, we're going to do Fun Riley. Um, some of you guys think I'm always fun. And honestly, let's get married. <laughs> because that is the sweetest thing. 
Um, this is a logo by Lori Goldstein top. So her plus sizes sell really quickly for me. Um, this is just a regular, not a regular t-shirt, but like a kind of a tunic top um, with these droopy pockets, which I like. Because it's just a top, I think I'm going to list this one around like between $22 and $24. I, I want to look up the style number to see if it's something that is, you know, sought after. Ooh, we're getting into the really cool vintage stuff. So this is a 1970s, early 1970s California looks. Um, look at the floral pattern on this. I freaking love this so much. Just very quintessential 1970s dress. Um, I find a lot of... Uh, 70s dresses to be honest and I almost always pick them up because I have no self-control um if they have a pattern I shouldn't I should definitely say if they have a pattern I think I'm gonna list this one around like $38 and see what happens from there I've been I've had no problem moving vintage dresses on Poshmark I thought I I sell them a lot on Etsy as well but they move on Poshmark almost just as evenly as they move on um, Etsy which is great this is a Joseph Ribkoff top um, oh, how do we, it has like this little, you know, I'm going to be honest. I think it's ugly as hell. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just kidding. It's not ugly as hell. That was mean. It's not my taste. Should I edit that whole thing out? Because I would be mortified if somebody bought this from me and then went on my video and like, I said something bad about their taste. This might need to be edited out. It's not my style, but Joseph Ribkoff sells well for me. And you know what? You know, sometimes made well isn't my style. So there, I said it. Um, because it's Joseph Ribkoff and it's like a nice bright color, I think I'm going to list that one around like 25 Some Joseph Ribkoff pieces, you can look upwards of like $50, $60, even $70. But pieces like this, yeah, it's a little dated. I feel like I'm going to go lower. Speaking of made well, this is a made well polka dot cardigan uh is it reversible oh of course not the tag's right here i'm gonna list this one around like 25 dollars. nothing crazy okay you guys know how i feel about this brand cloth and stone i said i'm not even gonna count the videos i've said i said at least two years ago i'm not picking up cloth and stone anymore because you can find it for like 15 bucks at tj maxx and it's so saturated and it never sells and guess what look what i picked up cloth and stone um, there's just some brands that I'm like, if I don't pick it up, nobody else will. It's going to end up in the landfill. So am I going to make a big profit on it? Probably not. Um, I'm probably going to list around $15 or $16. So, this is, ooh, this one's nice. This one was like a little diamond in the rough because it was mixed in with a bunch of crap. This is a Rebecca Taylor, I think that's her newer label, blazer. It's like a tweed wool blazer. Um, I think I'm going to list this one around $45. See, this is the great thing about the gummy bear idea. Because it was a horrible mixture. So I'm going to do that. I didn't think about this, though, because now I'm going to stand here for the next four minutes trying to chew it. This is a Sanctuary, which I believe Sanctuary, is. It, does it say? Designed in Los Angeles. Yes. Yes, 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 of course. Um, this is a Sanctuary top. I used to get really excited when I found Sanctuary. I remember the first time I found it, it was on my bucket list, and I felt like I found Chanel. And now I, I, I rarely pick it up. It, it does sell, but it doesn't. You know what I mean? Um, you guys are probably like, she, why is she, how does she, how does she make money? Because I say that about, like, every other brand that I pick up. Um, anyway, this is a Sanctuary Los Angeles one. Um, I really don't pick it up anymore, ever. Except this piece I picked up because it's a, it looks, it reminds me of military surplus. And military surplus is, like, high on the trends right now. I, I feel like maybe it's been trendy for a while, but it doesn't seem like it's going down. So, military surplus look, which I'm also going to put in the listing. Military mod or whatever it's called. It's just really weird. But, I mean, I like military mod. It's just, it's weird to call it that. This is a Tommy Bahama top that I picked up because it's brand new with tags. Um, I leave behind Tommy Bahama unless it's new with tags. So this one, let's see, it was 78, marked down to 58, marked down to 39. So obviously they, they had a hard time moving it. So I'm probably just going to list it at like 22 bucks on eBay. I think it'll do better on eBay. New with tag stuff sells better on eBay than on Poshmark. This is my first time finding Rena Lang. Rena Lang. Um, it is a higher-end brand, and it has this cute little, like, um, I don't want to say laser cut, 
what I don't know whatever it is um, unfortunately made in Germany that's pretty interesting so unfortunately it's just like plain white but the comps were great um, on this brand I think I'll list that piece around like 35 or 40 dollars this is another vintage one so this one is also 1970 wait this one might be no nah, this has got to be 1970s I was gonna say it might be 1960s but I'm just not feeling it with the looks of it anyway it could be late 1960s early 1970s I'll cover my ass and say it that way this I love this pattern um probably gonna list this one around like $45 this is really cool also. I gotta stop saying this is really cool. Like, obviously, they're, they're mostly cool. That's why I picked them up. I'm just, sometimes I just feel like I have to just keep talking so that, you know, there's no breaks in my video. My dog wants in. Hold on, guys. Hold on one second. My dog wants in. So she has this thing where, like, when she wants in the house, like, instead of standing by the door like a normal person, she's a dog, but she just does this thing where she scratches at the window. and this, She's, like, really cute, but she makes this really ugly face because she, she like, gets out the window and then she goes... <laughs> like slides down it. I'll I'll show you guys my dog again. I showed her my last video and she got really good. Um, I had a lot of good feedback about her. <laughs> this is my dog, and she's a basset hound, and she likes pop tarts. <laughs> she loves pop tarts. My kids need her pop tarts. I'm a good dog owner. I give her healthy stuff, but she likes pop tarts. Anyway, I'm just letting her make her debut because she has some fans out there. <laughs> I realize in that one video, she has a lot of fans. You want to say, you want to show them the face you make when you're really ugly, when you want to get in the house? <laughs> okay. All right. Fun Riley. This, before my dog interrupted me, this was really cool. So Big Star makes jeans. I had no idea they would make denim jackets, but I mean, it makes sense. Denim jeans, denim jackets. I have not looked up the comps on this. I saw that it was Big Star. And denim jackets are trendy right now, and it has a raw trim the raw edge which is also trendy and it looks barely worn barely washed I should say because the color it has not it doesn't look like the color has bled out at all I'm hoping I can get about 30 or 40 dollars out of this but we'll see this is an Eileen Fisher made of Italian yarn slouchy top um it's oversized which is also nice because I can put that in the listing a lot of people like oversized things especially me because I've had three kids so there's some things that you know, just don't need to be just, that don't need to be in my silhouette, if you know what I mean. Um, I think I'm going to list this piece around $25 to $30. So this is, just found a stain. Now I'm going to be in a bad mood because I just found a stain. I think I can get this out though. How did I not see that? Obviously, it's right next to the label. Anyway, this is a Sundance 100% linen top. This is their older label, but because it's 100% linen, like I said, it's a classic piece. It's not dated at all. I think I'll be able to get like 25 bucks out of it. Not 25. I don't know why I said 25. I'm going to sell it for around 20, I'm sure. This is cool. So this is a, it's a cinch. It's a cinch. Patent pending. Um, I'm guessing 1970s. Um, what are these called? Like compression. I mean, these are hot right now. I think Kim Kardashian has a line of them. But, be, you know, people like 50s, 60s, 70s bras and underwear, just undergarments, stuff like that. Um, there's a big following for some reason, and I don't know why. Um, but it's it's a cinch. <laughs> that wasn't even, that wasn't a that wasn't a pun, so I don't know why I said that. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna look this one up. It was like a dollar ninety nine, and I'm like, you know what? I bet that'll sell for around twenty five dollars. This is really cool. I said it again. Um, Arata Silent Journey, which I found a couple of their pieces and they move really quickly for me. Um, look at this piece though. It's slouchy. It has the floral with the plaid and the like bandana paisley. I mean, honestly, this piece is really cool. I think I'll be able to get like $35 out of it. It's a good brand and it's an even better piece for the brand. This is a Free People Cashmere Small. Ooh, that was annoying. Small. Um, this is why I can't watch my own videos because I, I listen to my own voice and it makes me, it makes me want to strangle myself. Can I say that on YouTube? Am I going to get flagged? It's a cashmere, um, cardigan. 
it's really cute it has like the little lace at the bottom i think i'll be able to get like 20 or 25 out of it because it's cashmere this is a new label carlisle set so it has the very slick candy apple red blazer with the matching skirt skirt um i think i'll be able to get probably 50 or 60 dollars out of this interesting i'm gonna do the backstory on this one so this is walt disney world um shirt obviously so about a year and a half ago, I've never been to um, any of the Disney worlds. You know, I don't I don't mind Disney. It's just, I don't want to stand in line all day and, like, smell other people's sweat. Which you do at, like, amusement parks. Like, I'm not dogging Disney. It's just not for me. Um, I love Disney. My kids love Disney. I'm just, I'm not, I don't want to go to the parks. I'm not ready. I don't want to bring my kids to the parks. Like, I'm just, anyway. Um, but I did go to the Walt Disney store. Mm -hmm. Like, the actual Walt Disney store. <laughs> that they have in some malls that my three-year-old has decided it's time to start screaming. Can we keep our voices inside of our heads? I went to a Disney store and I found, because I was looking for stuff for my kids, and I actually found one of these, the exact same, exact same jersey, except, oh, you know what, I'm two seconds from chugging this whole thing and calling it a night, because my son just knocked over my entire filming set. I found, I'm going to pick up where I left off because I'm, I'm clearly already um, a mess. Um, I found this Walt Disney World top at the Disney store, except the one that I found was Disneyland, California, right? And I, even though I've never been there, I bought it because I like the look of it. And, you know, like I said, I like Disney. I'm just not, I'm not ready to go to the parks yet. And I wore it like twice and I just didn't like the way it fit me. So I put it on Poshmark and I sold it for $18. But I sold it within like a day. So I'm like, you know what? It's probably another quick flip because it's the exact same piece. Except instead of Disneyland, it's Disney World. So I'm going to put it at $18 again. This is a vintage 1970s sleeper gown with a button down front. So this pattern is very ahead of its time. Well, technically all of like the 70s florals were ahead of their time, right? Is that how we... Do we say ahead of our time or is it just coming back? Wow, that's something to think about, isn't it? I guess it's just coming back and not really ahead of its time. I really love the colors on this. And although it's just a sleeper, it's not that hard to find like 70 sleeper gowns. So they're not very rare, obviously. But because of the pattern, I think I'm going to ask about $38 out of that piece. This one's cool. This is a Pendleton. Um, I think it's, yeah, it's newer. It's 100% leather, but this is like a suede leather. Um... I stopped picking up Pendleton because I was sitting on it and I found it all the time and it was just so saturated. But I I haven't tried their suede. So it's a nice pink blush suede. So I think I'm going to list this one around $40 and see what happens. This piece I almost left behind and now that I actually have it, it makes me sick to my stomach that I almost left it behind. This is also a 1970s. Well, this could be late 1960s, early 1970s too. This is why, this is why I don't listen to myself on video. Did you hear that? This could be. Okay. You know what? I, this is just, this is shit. This is the rock. This is bottom of the barrel for me. This is, this is the trashiest I've ever, ever been. Especially on YouTube. So. That's really cool. It's a pastel cardigan with a cityscape. Cityscape design. It has like a piano player, player and like a violin or no it's not a violin like a viola a bass just ring the bell when I hit the right one when I hit the right instrument ring the bell anyway I don't know this guy stirring butter or playing drums I, I couldn't I couldn't tell the difference I'm gonna list it I'm gonna say 70s 60s 70s cardigan guy stirring butter on the back <laughs> you guys I should stop filming. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna. I don't know what I'm gonna list it for. That was the stupidest thing I've ever said in my life. Okay, this is a Dean and White, which I don't. I looked up the brand and it seemed like decent. But the reason I picked it up is because it's lamb's wool, angora rabbit hair, and nylon. But you know what? The nylon's only ten percent, so basically it's angora rabbit hair, hair, and <laughs> lamb's wool. So I think I'm gonna list this one around thirty bucks. All right. Let's get all the laughs out of my system now because this is just ridiculous. This is the first time I've heard of this. And I'm going to, um, I'm not going to pronounce this right. Designers Remix by Charlotte X, 
Eskildzen. Eskildzen. Oh, that's cool. It's like Excelsior. Ooh, huh. I bet she's a badass. Anyway, I looked up the comps and they were they were very few, few and far between. But the comps were pretty good. Um, I think it's like probably a designer brand, right? Designers Remix. I think I'll list that one for around twenty five or thirty. This is my first time finding Randy Kemper, which is also a good brand. Um, it's a uh, ooh cheetah print jacket. I'm going to list this one around probably forty dollars because it's Randy Kemp. My boy. Randy might be a girl. I don't know. This is a Pendleton. Another Pendleton. I know. I'm shocked too. But this one is 72% silk and what? 28% nylon. Basically silk. Um, and it feels just buttery soft. It's also newer. I think I'm going to list this one around $30. I picked this one up just like the last one because of the material. This one's really cool. La Femme. La Femme. Is it? I feel like it's La Femme. Have I been saying it wrong my whole life? Because this is like really basic. I went to Spanish for three years. I, I learned Spanish. And if I'm pronouncing this wrong, but is it even Spanish? I don't want anybody to correct me. I don't care what it's called. I don't want anybody to correct me. Just save me the embarrassment and let me just... When I do brands like this, I'm going to start saying this is L-A-F-E-M-M-E. -M -M -E, okay. It's a designer brand, right? But this looks older. But it kind of reminds me, like, maybe it's not older. Maybe it's just like Johnny was. Um, and they have, like, an older-looking embroidered label. Anyway, this is a pretty basic piece, but it's a designer, so I don't know what I'm going to list it at. But if you find the brand, it's definitely worth picking up. Some of, the, some of their stuff sells for, like, $100. This is also something I normally don't pick up. J. Jill, but it is acrylic and mohair. 36% mohair. That is good. Mohair sells for me, like, right out the door. I can find, like, apartment 9, and if it's mohair, I'm going to get it. Um, it's not obviously complete mohair. I don't think anything really is. It's really hard material to work with. Well, it could be. But 36%, that's enough to um, for me to pick up. Probably going to list that one at $30. This is a older label, Tadashi. Is it older label? Maybe not. Tadashi, which is also a higher end designer. Um, really cool, like metallic, bronze, brass looking jacket. I don't know why I just screamed jacket. Jacket! Um, probably going to list that one at like $30. This is Via Gallo. Via, <laughs> that L would not be silent. This is Via Gallo. Um, and I had one of these in a haul and you guys were like, oh, that's a really good brand. Um, and I didn't know much about it. But this has like gardener's pattern with a little beagle and a little watering can and a little, oh, it's a little moth. Oh God, this is so cute. Anyway, it has little rainbows on it. Um, the last one I sold, I sold for like $30 and the pattern was not the special. So I'm going to put this one at like $40. All right. We're making a pretty big dead, guys. I'm almost done. Um, this is a vin no, early 2000s Disney store, um, Mickey, uh, Daisy, um, uh, mini. Oh, 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 I know some of you guys who really love Disney are going to hate me for that. <laughs> I said Daisy. Um, no, this is mini. Uh, classic mini and it says good girl so very again very kawaii like crybaby vibes which are really trendy right now so probably gonna list that one around 25 this is my no I found this brand a lot why did I just say that it's my first time picking up southern tide which I, I feel like is right up there with um like Duluth trading company uh so it is a good brand but I don't always pick it up but this is a men's really lightweight tide to trail t3 um half zip so I think I'll be able to get like 25 out of that this is an Athleta cardigan but this is interesting because it has like a wrap at the sleeve really it's cool I like this um I think I'll be able to get like 25 out of this oh I haven't picked up this brand in so long Foxcroft I used to pick it up and I didn't have a problem moving it but it was selling around like literally between like 15 and 18 dollars on Poshmark which like after the 20 percent was not really worth it but this has the equestrian pattern, um, pattern, pattern. It has an equestrian pattern, which is, you know, a pretty sought after pattern. If I find Lauren Ralph Lauren equestrian, I always pick it up. I also pick up Foxcroft equestrian. So probably going to list this one around 25. This is Gigi Moda made in Italy. This is a silk cardigan. This is my first time finding the brand, but the comps looked pretty good. I think I'll be able to get like 25 out of this. 
this one's really awesome so this is a chippewa woolens traverse bay traverse city michigan sorry um i'm from michigan so i bought this because it's vintage but look at this pattern this is so cool this is like really 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 cool i think i'm gonna list this one around 30 dollars even though i don't know much about it at all this is a Duluth Trading Company, so it looks like it's just a regular, um, like, zip-up. Maybe even it looks like it could just be a button-up shirt, but this is heavy. It's, like, it's lined with, like, flannel. It's nice and heavy. I think I'm going to list this one around $40. Oh, you guys are going to like this because I bet nobody's heard of this. And if you have heard of this, I'm impressed. This is something by Sammy Ryan. Sammy Ryan. So it doesn't look like anything crazy, right? But some of this, like, anime or, like, beauty gurus who release their own line of clothing, um, and then they discontinue that line, like, like, some of Jeffree Star's stuff, I know he's controversial, but some of Jeffree Star's stuff you can, like, it's, like, 60, 80, 90, 100 dollars because he released it for a limited time, it sold out, yada, yada. So I looked this up, and her stuff it sells for a pretty penny. So I think I'll be able to get like $60 out of this. Pure Angel. This is this is kawaii. This is what I talk about when I say kawaii. I know not everybody's familiar with that term. This one's... Uh, I'm not going to say it. I was, I was talking for so long that my camera battery died, which has only happened one time, so... No. Oh. Oh. Okay, this is a... It's not strong. I don't want you guys to think I'm irresponsible. But I, I really did mix it, like really just, it's like some cheap barefoot wine <laughs> with some leftover mixed drinks. It's not good. Um, this is a vintage 1970s dun -dun -dun -dun, hoodie. I've never found a, a, a hoodie this old. Um, I obviously like from like the 80s, 90s, I think. But I've never found like a true zip up hoodie this old and I love the pattern. I think it's nice, just nice knit, but not too heavy, nice and lightweight. Um, I'm going to probably list this piece around $35. I do think this one will sell better on Etsy. This is an older label, Garnet Hill, um, which is kind of a hit or miss for me, but I do pick it up every now and again. But this is a faux, oh God, I hate saying that word. This is a fake wrap. Um, top and they, for whatever reason Garnet Hill fake wrap pieces which I found more of than I'd like to admit sell pretty good and pretty consistently for me so I think I'll list that one around $24. You guys know I can't have a good haul without finding Neon Buddha which is just one of my favorite brands to find. It has a very loyal following. I don't get that much for it but I'll probably list this piece around $28. This, I told you guys, I found cool vintage stuff. So this is a 1970s, late 1970s, hmm, I'm going to say late 1970s. This is a terry cloth cropped top. Um, not anything crazy going on, but I like the terry cloth. I think this one will do well around $25. I found this newer label Burton jacket. So believe it or not, I pick up a lot of Burton jackets and... The next, item, the next like seven items and the last seven items I have to show you guys are all jackets. So at all of the thrift shops around me, except Goodwill, um, the jackets were 50% off. So they're doing like a winter sale where jackets are 50% off. So probably paid like $3 for this. Um, I almost always pick up Burton. It's a very consistently selling brand unless it's like a really um, old piece or just like a butt ugly piece. <laughs> so... It's just a maroon jacket, but it's newer. Um, this, I think, is just, yeah, that's like salt from like a, yeah. Okay. Um, if you guys aren't familiar, like places that have a lot of snow, we put salt down. Um, and it sticks to clothing, but you just like wipe it off. Anyway, I think I'll be able to get about $40 out of this because it is newer. This is a military surplus and the reason I say surplus is because it actually doesn't have the name on the tag so I don't think this was ever like worn on uh, it's weird because you would think if it was military surplus and it was unworn and in pristine condition you'd be able to get more out of it but people who collect military gear actually like when it was worn on the battlefield and shows where which makes sense this is Swedish um Swedish military so I'm thinking I mean obviously not too old I could not date this right now confidently um but 
regardless that it wasn't actually worn on the battlefield, uh, it's definitely, it was worth picking up. I don't know what I'm going to list it for yet, though. Like I said, it was 50% off, so it was probably like three, four, five dollars. This one's really cool. I love this one. This is a really old, I'm going to say 1940s leather trench jacket. Um, how do I date this? So, uh, what this reminds me of, and I hate saying this. I, I hate, it makes me sick. Like, truly, like, not even trying to be funny. It reminds me of, like, a World War II German officer's uniform jacket. And honestly, oh, just, I'm not going to go down the rabbit hole. I hate even saying that that's what it reminds me of. But, like, when I saw this, that's what it reminds me of. It's not German. Don't worry. Um, this is probably... I, I don't I don't think this would have been like an officer's thing um like even for the US because it just it doesn't have it it doesn't have enough yeah there's no way um however <laughs> yeah it's a it's a 1940s leather men's jacket so that in itself is rare um it's definitely a good find I think I will be able to get maybe like around a hundred dollars for that piece this is a Burton, so this is a little bit older. I want to say like probably 2008, 2009, 2010 Burton jacket, but they were 50% off. And honestly, I'm like, you know what? I bet I'll be able to sell this around like $25, even though it is a little bit of an older style. Um, Burton is Burton. So it's, it's a pretty, it's a very trustworthy brand. This is really awesome. Oh, I said it again, cupcakes and cashmere sequin and it has, it's like the reversible or reverse whatever you call it sequin um jacket i don't know the comps on this one it might be like more sought after than some other pieces but i'm thinking definitely over 40 or 50 dollars oh hold on nope that one was in a different haul but i just finally got down to repairing it this is i found this one at the bin so this one i actually found a while ago but i forgot to this one i shouldn't have picked up this was a bad buy i saw that it was mountain hardware and I'm like, ooh, mountain hardware at the bins? Yeah, baby, come home with me. And then I realized not only is the zipper broke, which you can replace zippers, that's not hard. There's a cigarette burn. And it's definitely a cigarette burn because there's there's another one on the back. But honestly, I think once I replace the zipper, I'll be able to sell it for $20 on Poshmark because, you know, some, some people don't buy the brand just because it looks good. Some people buy the brand because it's a nice, trustworthy, and reliable brand. And if you like mountain hardware and you want to go plow your driveway with a couple cigarette burns here and there, who cares? That's how I'm going to advertise that. I'm going to like really sell the product. All right, last piece. This is a 1950s Shaw Trench. Um, it is 100% virgin. This is not combed. Wool. Um, and it is a... For... What is it? Fortsman. Fortsman. That's the label. Um, if you look up Fortsman jackets, I think more of them are from like the 60s, but this one is, I'm, I'm just saying based on the style, this has got to be 1950s. It's not, you know, very classic staple for 1950s, um, very good condition, and it's 100% virgin wool, so I don't think I'll have a problem moving this piece, probably closer to $70, $80, or $90 on Etsy. Etsy. eBay, you know, I do sell vintage clothing on eBay. But um, most people shopping for vintage clothing on eBay are shopping like for the deal, for the discount. Where on Etsy, people are just, people are more appreciative about the piece itself and not so much the price. So remember that guys, when, when you're selling vintage pieces, the prices, you know, do just don't lowball yourself. Like these are staples of history. <laughs> Stupid. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Seriously, though, I was, that was, like, partially, I, I mean, I went too far with it. But, yeah, um, stuff like this I sell on Etsy. I don't even usually bother listing it on eBay because, for, just long story. Anyway, if anybody has made it this far with me through Fun Riley, through Obnoxious Riley, through Annoying Riley, who says she wants to strangle herself when she hears her voice and promote cigarette burns on clothing, um, thank you so much, uh, I'm going to leave a link down below in the description to my Instagram. If you do not already follow me on Instagram, it is honey.rags. I also own my own website, honeyragsco.com. And from there, you can shop my merchandise. There's a shop now button where you can see a bunch of, you know, stuff that I've designed and you can buy it. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay safe, stay healthy.
unlike me who can't lift up her own dog for a few seconds out breathing um, like a maniac. And happy thrifting and happy selling.